Is speaker sensitivity related to frequency? This question comes to us from David. Let's, David in Mexico City, before I get off on a tangent. I don't know, how, do any of you know what this is? Um, sorry, to octave, <coughs> to octave, my goodness. I'm, Paul's losing it to Ohm's Law listeners. I have what's known as a, a wrist strap. A, the, we, we all wear these. Um, it's a little blue strap hooked up with a wire to the bench. It's a ground strap. And because many of the circuits that we, we use here when we, when we build products are electrostatic discharge, you know, the <laughs> static charge, they're very sensitive. And so and we don't want to be zapping things when we're working a, on a bench. So we all wear what's called these, these ground straps. And cute, aren't they? <laughs> all right. So there's something you didn't know, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, David in Mexico City says, <coughs> excuse me, Paul, this is David Segarra from Mexico City. David, uh, I'm part of a small group of friends that truly admire your dedication and simple way of explaining not so simple things. Why, thank you, sir. Uh, days ago, two of us had a small argument. I sustained, I, I guess I, I made the point that speaker sensitivity is not necessarily related to frequency range capacity while one of my friends insisted that those two parameters are totally related. To me, a high sensitivity speaker could be a subwoofer, which by definition does not handle a wide range of frequencies. But I could not convince my friend. Would you <clears throat> be so kind as to give us some light? I highly appreciate it and best regards, David in Mexico City, which is, oh God, what a lovely city you live in, David. Terry and I <coughs> went there, <coughs> excuse me, and just, we went on that, that boat cruise uh, down, down those, uh, those the, the river. I even have a video of that somewhere. And um, just, oh my gosh, I love Mexico City. I would go back in a heartbeat. Lovely place. So let's, what is speaker sensitivity? Well, in its simplest form, speaker sensitivity is how loud a speaker gets at any frequency within its range for a given input signal, okay? And it's usually measured one watt of power. And we then take a microphone, we put it one meter away from the speaker, and we measure how loud it gets when we put one watt of sound into the speaker. Okay, that's the simplest thing. So, in, in, in yeah, I mean, you're, you're both, well, you're more right than he is, <laughs> which is probably good, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna come after me. So, uh, a subwoofer, it doesn't matter. I mean, most subwoofers are powered, so I think a subwoofer is kind of a bad, example, but let's just say a woofer, if you just had an amplifier with a woofer, if I put in one watt and I have a microphone sitting over here and I get 90 dB of sound from that one watt, then within the frequency band that that speaker works at, you could say that it is, it has a sensitivity of 90 dB. If it's a full range speaker, then over that full range of frequencies, this one over here is 88 dB or 87 dB. What, whatever comes out when I put one watt in is the sensitivity of the speaker. And so it's not directly related to frequency at all. We just assume that you're, when you put one watt in, it is at a frequency that the speaker is capable of producing, right? So if you put in one watt at 20 kilohertz into a subwoofer, you wouldn't get anything out and you wouldn't be measured. I mean, the sensitivity rating would be, you know, silly because you don't have the ability to play that frequency on that driver. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Okay. So speaker sensitivity, real quick, when you look at it, one watt, put a microphone one meter away and how loud that speaker is within the frequency band that it is capable of producing will be its sensitivity. Hope that helps. 
And uh, I, maybe, I, hope, I hope you guys just did uh, a couple of tacos or something. <laughs> That's a bet. <laughs> you know, I got to club each other to death. All right. Talk to you later.